Today, we are going to be practicing some tempura paint skills. First, I wanna show you a common mistake that I see, which is people painting with too little water and their paint is too dry. So if I am not going to the water bowl to get more water, right now my paintbrush is a little wet, but, but when I get my paint color, instead of being smooth on the paper, we can see it scratchy and you can see through to the white paper. Let's try again with the right amount of water. Now my orange paint is smooth and it fully covers the page, not scratchy and see-through like this one. So let's start with, I'll use red. I wanna use a lot of water on this one. Next, instead of using a lot of water, I wanna use a lot of paint. So I'm going to swirl for longer on the paint color. The longer that I swirl my paintbrush around, the more paint will come off onto my paintbrush. You can see a big difference even though I used the same color red. This one looks lighter because I had more water. This one looks darker or more saturated because I used more paint. Next, we're going to mix colors. Mixing means I put the color over the full area and add another color on top of it. I'm going to mix peach with pink. So when I'm mixing, I cover the whole area once with peach and once with pink. You could use any colors, but those are just the two I picked for this example. If I wanted this to be more peach, I could add more on top. And the same thing, if I wanted it to have more pink, I could add more. Next, I'm going to practice blending. Blending is mixing colors, but this time, instead of covering the whole square, I'm going to have half of my paint color here, half of my paint color here, and I want them to mix only in the middle. To mix my colors, I could use just water and I could go back on top with my first color. So mixing covers the whole area. Blending only mixes a little bit. So this one is a little bit more like a sunset or like an ombre. Next, we're gonna practice a skill about keeping our paints separate. First, I wanna show you what could happen if you try to keep your paint separate, but they accidentally mix. I'm gonna use red and yellow. you can see that my red paint started seeping into the yellow side. I didn't want them to mix together and that happened on accident. I wanna show you how to avoid this. You can keep your paints separate if they don't touch, that's one way. So I wanna bring it up to this line in the middle. And when I paint with my yellow, I'm gonna try to keep the paint separate so that they are not touching. I wanna get them close. So now my colors are staying separate because there's a little border of the dry paper in between. Another way that you could do this is to paint one color and let it dry and then paint your next color. 
I'm gonna speed this up until my red paint is dry and then I'll show what we'll do with the yellow. Now that my red paint is dry, my yellow paint should stay separate and not mix and blend together. So you can see I went on top, but they didn't mix because the red was dry. Okay, let's get practicing. 